We are so happy to be talking with Mr. Tom Fazio, golf course designer, who has done many courses around the world. How many courses have you done around the world? Uh, a lot. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't keep track because I don't want it to make me seem old. Most importantly, he's done a lot of work at Augusta National over the years, and uh, we all get to see that every year on TV, and it looks pretty good. It's very good. It's very good. So um, we're here at Reynolds Lake Oconee today, and they just opened a new Richland course, which Mr. Fazio designed. And he actually took an old nine-hole golf course that they had here, added in a few holes, and made it an 18. Um, it looks fantastic. Well, thank you. That was the program. Uh, we actually had a 27-hole course that the other nine was a part of, and we separated out the 27 into an 18, took the remaining nine, added a new nine to it to have two separate 18-hole golf experiences. There's also some differentiation. Uh, as you start out, you were talking about you come out and some of the holes are in the woods, then you come out on a meadow and it's more open, and it gives you that feel of the modern golf course where it is a little bit more open, not as many trees. You've planted some native grasses that are going to get tall and be an issue. Uh, so you've got that differentiation uh, uh, throughout the golf course itself. Yes, well, we wanted to make sure we could blend both nines together and make it feel like it's not just a nine-hole addition. It's a complete 18 holes, a custom individual uh, setting for the entire new 18 holes. So there are seven. This is the seventh golf course here, folks. Uh, it's a beautiful facility. If you've never been here to Reynolds Lake Oconee, I, I urge you to come down. But one of the things that you try to do is differentiate your golf course so that you're not the same as one of the other golf courses here, not the same as one of the other golf courses down the road. How were you able to do that at the Richland course? Well, I think uh, our major goal was to create a difference. We worked hard at making it individual custom for this setting. And by separating the two golf courses that we had, it was kind of easy. We had what we have wider corridors. We have placement of bunkers and hazards in different locations and features, different elevation changes. So there's endless possibilities of how you create a golf hole. Fortunately, at Reynolds and in the Richland site, we had a lot of elevations to work with, and we had a lot of opportunities to create golf holes into distinctive individual golf holes. So that was a pretty easy process here. Another thing that uh, when you're designing a new golf course or putting something together, uh, this is a, a large membership uh, group here at Reynolds, Lake Oconee, and it's going to be uh, get a lot of play from members who are going to play it all the time. So... You do have some fairly large greens. There's a lot of different pin placements. I, there are what I would call a lot of bunkers. Um, there are bunkers that are strategically placed. But as a shorter hitter, an older guy, I don't get it out there like these young guys do. You give me quarters to run the ball up. I don't have to fly it over bunkers all the time. Well, I think, uh, again, for what this programming is for rentals, for member play, for all different levels of players, the the uh, lower their handicap, the more you play golf in the air. And when you think about it, how does Rory McIlroy hit it, play a golf hole? From the tee, time that tees on the ball, he hits the tee shot in the air, 300, 330. And let's assume it's not r rolling very much. And then he hits his next shot on a, say it's a 500-yard par four. He has 200 yards left Well, he hits a seven iron. If you measured the, the amount of yardage his ball touched the ground, it's only maybe 5 to 10 yards. The rest of golfers, based on your handicap, your ball is on the ground a lot longer. So it's very important how you design the elevations, the contours, the hazard places, placements, so that you have an enjoyable round of golf. You can, you can execute your golf shot. You can play a golf hole and not have to feel you can pick up because it's too hard or too difficult. You made some comments. You were asked a question a little while ago uh, from one of the people here about uh, the golf ball rolling back that the USGA and the RNA are, are proposing uh, for later here. Um, you, you had some interesting thoughts on that. Could you share those with us, please? Well, I think the, uh, the conversation about rolling the ball back, uh, personally, for me personally. As a designer. I guess. Yeah, as a designer, because personally, I don't want to roll it back. I, I, I want to be able to, I want to find a new ball that goes farther. Uh, and in my case, in my age, and my friend's there, we're moving up to another tee to handle the conditions. So as a designer, we're looking at how do we execute golf for the elite player. Now, we're able to do that in tee placements. We're able to do that with angles 
we're able to do that with strong pin placement. So now within reason, we still have to be in the 7,500 plus range within us, plus or minus, depending on elevations. Uh, the 7,000 yard golf course is too short for the elite player. Now that doesn't fit for some properties, but I think the worry that it's hurting golf is overblown because most professionals are not playing there anyway, or they're not playing events on those 7,000 yard golf course. They're playing them on the uh, golf courses that, can, that are higher in yardage and distance. So I don't think the yardage is as much problem as we make it appear to be. One of the things that's getting a lot of play in the press and is sustainability of golf and golf courses. I mean, as a designer, you've been working for 20, 30 years to make golf sustainable and the courses to last a long time. So this is nothing new. No, not at all. I, I think that we, in every industry, you learn and how to make something more sustainable. I think that's important. I think we do. We have environmental rules and the regulations that we build golf courses today. They're so different than they were in the past, and it's better today. Cost a little bit more, but it's a better situation of how you handle drainage and how you handle construction and clearing and erosion and all the details. So, you know, we're, we're living in a better society of, of caring for the environment, and it's just a matter of implementing that on each project. Mr. Fazio, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to chat with us. We really enjoyed playing the Richland course today. We love Reynolds Lake County, and this is a, a great addition to the property. Well, thank you very much. I enjoyed it, and we have a, I have a lot of good friends here, and it's a great place to be.